Yeah. NS, yeah. Manchester United, three. Uh, less than new. Give me your assessment. Honest opinion. Um, congratulations to Manchester United. Congratulations to their fans as well and the players. Um, they tried. But nevertheless, I would still say congratulations to Ruth Van Nesteroy. He tried um, to carry on this team at their lowest moments and um, to make them now to be at their peak. I would say kudos to him. I will really advise Amorim to retain Ruth Van Nesteroy as one of his assistants. I will as well advise him that Ruth Van Nesteroy will be a connector between the players and the, and the coaching staff. One, Amorim is still having a language issue. That's with, like a language barrier. Two, as well, um, he doesn't know much about Old Trafford. He, um, he is moving from Sporting Lisbon, where he did very well, to um, Manchester United. That is a big leap. But he did an internship on that, Um That actually does not matter, because he did not serve as an assistant coach. Let's not forget that he only came there to visit. So he did not serve as an assistant coach. Internship is what Pep Guardiola did at Barca. Zidane Zidane did at Real Madrid. That is internship. So for me, he only came to visit Jose Mourinho. So kudos to um, Amorim because this team now, um, they're on high spirits. So that is it for me. Uh, Rashford, what's actually the problem of Rashford? It seems to not to be, sometimes he's excited, sometimes he's not excited. As I earlier told you, I said, this set of players will keep on throwing the coaches under the bus. I'm telling you that they are not um, consistent. They are not persistent in what they are doing. They are not even consistent in the way they play their football. Yes, Manchester United won. But let's not still forget that Leicester had a better ball possession in the second half than Manchester United. It's because uh, Man United could go home um, happy because it is Leicester City. I bet you that if it were to be Brentford, Yes, my United won Brentford, but if you have to be Brentford or Bournemouth and you play this kind of thing, you'll be highly punished. Mm. So, this set of players, Rashford has been there for years. They threw Van Gaal under the bus. They threw Jose Mourinho under the bus. They threw Ole Gunnar Solskjaer under the bus. They threw Mike Carrick under the bus. They threw Ragnik under the bus. They threw Eric Ten Hag under the bus. So, I am not... This set of players, we can't continue blaming coaches. Uh, because if you say this coach is not good, so how come in a space of 10 years you have changed six coaches and you carried these coaches at their peak or uh, when, when, when they are doing very well, you, you carried them as at their peak. So why is it that you keep on changing coaches and the players that are playing badly, they are still in Manchester United? For me, Ru um, Rashford has no stake again in Manchester United. It is high time we, we overlook this issue of his our home ground player. We did it to, to, to um, Scott McTominay. McTominay was even scoring goals and Man United threw him away. Webeck was scoring goals and Manchester United threw him. So it is high time for Rashford to go. For, go and go after Mitoma of Brighton. Go after Bowen of West Ham. Then you sign Grokeres of Sporting Lisbon. Now what you call Grokeres. Uh, Hoyland and, uh, and the Zex, there's no difference between these two strikers. Man United has spent 105.4 million pounds um, in signing two strikers that cannot give them 10 goals. It's quite unfortunate. You spend such huge amount of money to sign two strikers that a combination of goals is not even up to five this season. So I'm quite tackled. I'm taken aback. I'm in a state of mental quancy that Man United cannot even sign a striker that can give them five goals. It's quite unfortunate that Ganacho uh, now has three EPL goals and is the highest goal scorer in a team like Manchester United. Seven goals. No, it's seven total goals, but three in EPL. And this is very funny because um, a player like um, um, Gravadol or what? Gravadol of Man City has more goals than even Manchester United centre forward. I am, I am, I am shocked and I'm surprised. Maybe, maybe Amorim will do magic with the strikers and the players. What is the magic Amorim is coming to do? That now, as I earlier said, I said kudos to Manchester United because um, Leicester City have never in all games Leicester has played this season. They have scored in all games. So today was the first game Leicester did not score, um, with the exception of Arsenal and Aston Villa. Leicester has the highest area ball that have led to go. 
it is today, only today they have not scored goals, they have led to goals. So Manchester United, what is saving them is their defense and the and the improvement of Onana. I think he has kept seven clean sheets now. So Onana has improved. The back line is good. Manchester United need to do something better. At least Amor, Amorim will pick up from where Ruth Van Nistelrooy left. Amorim, Amorim can pick up from there, but I will advise him to retain Ruth Van Nistelrooy. The same advice that Alex Ferguson gave to Moyes, yes, I am leaving, but do not flush my assistants because they will help you. It's the same advice I will give to Amorim. He should not let Ruth Van Nistelrooy to go. So that is it. Thank you, Anais. Thank, yes. Thank you. Congratulations on your win. Thank you, my brother. Thank you.